today we're going to be talking about defeat how it's an integral part of the artist's journey and how in a lot of ways though it feels horrible and can rock your soul to its very core can also bring you to the place you need to be to win it doesn't have to be a bad thing and what it takes is a tremendous amount of courage and willpower to take the loss, okay? And to re-examine yourself and what you do and who you are. Imagine yourself as like a hard, like metal sculpture. What a loss does, it softens you, okay? It softens you and it's like, and it's like a huge abrasion to the sculpture. Maybe it even like creates like huge cracks. Once that happens, it opens you up for change. If you can pick yourself up, then it's not a loss, it's a win. I want to tell you about an experience that I had during my school days, okay? So that maybe it'll help you guys. I had a teacher, she was a very strict teacher, okay? But I liked that. Right? I'm someone who likes to face challenge. Someone who's strict on me, will, I will like try to meet that. Not most people will do that. There was one day we were doing some color studies. I need you to understand that I'm a person who takes great pride in my color ability. And that to me, color was something that I felt like I was an expert in. There was one day, I stayed up all night Okay, finishing, like, making this project, right? We were only supposed to take it to, like, 50%, but I was feeling good. Finally started to understand gouache a little bit. I, I took it to, like, 75, 80%. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna show it off. I feel super proud of what I did. You know, I took all night. You know, we have our presentations, which we have to be very professional, and I was presenting my piece, right? I was like, yes, I got it, dude. You know, I can't wait to impress Shauna, right? And... Quite literally, the opposite happened. She came up and she said, It's all wrong. And she says, Sean, look at this and tell me what's wrong. And I realized what the problem was. The sky was green. I wanted it to be like a warm blue, but it wasn't, okay? And she said, point out what's wrong and I said this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong so and then she turned to me and said so you know if you know then why did you present it like this and the whole class was silent and she just tore me a new asshole and the confidence that I had completely flipped into utter despair Okay, and usually I sit in the front, and that's where, you know, me and my friends were sitting, but today, like, almost symbolically, sat in the back, marinating in my defeat. I consider myself a very strong person. I consider myself someone who's very determined, unbreakable will, but that day, I was broken. It shattered my entire idea of my ability, my sense of quality, and my confidence in my color. And this was difficult. This was very hard. To me, it's one of the defining moments in my artist's journey. And I felt like I was at the bottom of the pit. I thought about quitting. I thought about like that I would, I, di I didn't have the stuff to make it. And in that, in those thoughts, I made a realization that realization was that if this is the bottom, this is not so bad. Once you've hit rock bottom, you got nowhere else to go but up. I know it's cliche, but to understand and know that feeling is completely different than just hearing like a saying. I took that loss. I took that hit. I was utterly defeated, okay, smashed into the ground. This is the story I tell when I tell people like, hey, you want to, they're like, hey, I want to join art school. I'm like, okay, you want to join art school? Are you prepared for this, this moment? And 
I decided that I was going to pick myself up and I decided to go to her workshops more. I decided to ask her questions, you know, get involved, understand the medium, figure out what's what's the problem. And she helped me. And guess what? I improved. I fixed the issues. And, and like, I struggled with it. I continued to struggle with the class. But I'd learned. And I could tell that she was super happy with my progress because before, I was just some cocky kid who thought he knew about design, he knew about color, and I got utterly pounded into the ground, but I stepped up. I decided to take the defeat and internalize it and take the steps necessary to win again. People ask me, hey, what's your favorite class, dude? You know, throughout your, your experience at AAU, and I always tell them that that was my favorite class. The class where I struggled the hardest, where I had, a, I, I had to, I had to find the will, the force of will, to find the unbreakable part of myself and see it broken, and to rebuild it again so that it's stronger the second time. Life will present to you these moments, these moments where you're just, where, you, where you're broken, either by an outside force, but usually by yourself. And once you defeat yourself, you can learn how to win. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that in this time of darkness, that if you experience something horrible and get hit hard, understand that it's not just you and that you will get better. You will rise. And I know it, okay, because I believe in you. And I hope that you believe in yourself. I think that's it. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.